In this demo, we're going to learn about customizing a map projection in ArcMap. This is a really common situation, and uh, it's something where I think it's, it's not done enough. People should be doing this, but perhaps don't know how to do it or don't think to do it. And this is the scenario I'm talking about. Here I've got a map of Canada, and if we look at the coordinate system and projection that I'm using, I've got it set to Canada Albers Equal Area Conic. And this is a preset projection and coordinate system that uh, comes with ArcGIS. And that's great for a map of Canada. So you can see we have a central meridian of 96 degrees west of the prime meridian, or negative 96. We have a standard parallel of uh, two standard parallels of 50 degrees and 70 degrees latitude. Okay, that's great. That's really good for Canada. No problem there. And um, let's just ignore that warning for now because I haven't set the data to that particular projection. I haven't saved it that way. All right, so this is the scenario that I'm, I want to get to. Is Say you want to make a map of the Yukon, or Yukon Territory, as it's now referred to. We have, um, this is what I see all the time that people do as a mistake, is if you just wanted to make a map of the Yukon, uh, they would, you know, choose a, a projection that's really designed for a much larger area like Canada, and then... This is a bit of an extreme example, but if we zoom in here, we say, okay, there's my map of Yukon Territory. And, of course, this looks like it's about to fall over. It's not oriented with north directly up. Uh, if you lived in that area, you would probably think there was something wrong with this map because it's not the way you would envision you, the region that you live in for your map. Fortunately, this is really easy to fix. Okay, so... We'll go back to our coordinate system, and all we're going to do is customize a couple of things for this. So I'll go back to Properties, and you can modify this. And the way that this works in ArcMap 10.1 is that you right-click on the coordinate system that you want to modify. Say It creates a copy of that, Copy and Modify. And what I tend to do is um, I'll just add to the name something like, you know, in this case it would be Yukon. You can name it whatever you want. I just like to be able to keep track of the fact that it's based on this other existing one, the Canada Albers Equal Area Conic. So I'll add Yukon to the end, and you can modify the parameters inside here. So we're starting with negative 96, which is great for Canada, but for uh, Yukon Territory, 135, I happen to know that that's uh, a meridian that runs pretty much down the middle of, of the territory would be much more appropriate. Now, not only that, but if you remember uh, our discussions in, in the podcast about standard parallels, we can set those to try to minimize the distortion for the area that we're mapping. Uh, so these are, remember, the points where the developable surface, in this case a cone, this is where it's actually touching the reference globe, right? So these have been set to be good for the entire country of Canada, but we can customize these if we're just going to be using them for a smaller area like Yukon Territory. Now, I happen to know that the um, north and south borders of the region are about 60 degrees latitude and 70 degrees latitude. So I could set them to those. But what actually I think makes more sense is to move them in from there because the idea is that we want to have minimal distortion on both sides of each of those standard parallels. So I would prefer to set them to be about a third of the way up from the bottom of my region and a third of the way down from the top of the region. So if the top and bottom are 60 and 70, then I'll set these to be 63 and 66. And I'll leave the latitude of origin the way it is for now. So we click OK. We now have a modified, customized version of our uh, pre-existing projection and coordinate system. We say OK. And look at the effect that that has. This is much, much better now. We have a customized version. It, it literally, once you know what that is and how to do it, it takes maybe 5 or 10 seconds. But we have a much nicer version of our map. Uh, than we had before. And I see people, I see maps in, in publications even where they haven't bothered to do this and it just makes such a difference in the way that it's presented. So that's it. That's all you need to do. And uh, if you can customize it that way, you're minimizing the distortion inside by setting those standard parallels and you've created a nice looking map by setting the central meridian.